Sweatstream TV. Good afternoon, my friend Sean Vig, SeanVeague.com, filming today the inaugural video. This is Addy for Sweatstream TV. It's myself joining millionaire Cat, Shelly, and Jake in this exciting new endeavor. This workout today is going to be a, see you later, Addy's a 30, well, around 30 minute power yoga Pilates workout. All body weight, great for men and women of all fitness levels, modify as needed. Gonna really hit it, give you a nice, a nice tutorial on what flow, vinyasa flow yoga is, and a lot of core training. Kind of my milieu, stuff I'm very excited about. And make sure you subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my channel as well. Just type in Sean Vig in the search engine on YouTube. And head over to my website, SeanVeagFitness.com. You can order my books, download my app, and much more. All right, get yourself a mat, some comfortable clothes, and let's get ready to do a workout. Okay. Cap on, a little breezy out here in the mountains of Colorado. By the way, we're filming at 8,000 feet. And I'll be coming at you on Sweatstream Sweat Stream TV every Friday. Because Friday, I'm in love. Friday. Joe Friday. Let's begin. You can sit cross-legged or sitting on your heels like this. As we go through the workout, there's always modifications. There's add-ons. Listen to your body and choose wisely. Let's bring the hands together. Breathing into those deep abdominals, either in the nose and out the mouth, or in the nose and out the nose. Focus on the breath. Ow, I just poked my nose. Shoulders back and down. You never know what will happen. Keep that chin slightly tucked as if there's an orange between your chin and your chest, so the back of your neck is nice and long. I'm a really re anal retentive about posture, so we'll work on that. Inhale, bring those arms up over the head. Keep the shoulders relaxed as you reach the fingers up. Exhale. Hands coming back down. I want to breathe deep, get the heat into the muscles, into the lungs. There we go. This is <laughs> live filming outside with my doggy. Okay, inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, come back down. Feel that heat in the center. And again, inhale, reach a little back bend this time. Oh, exhale. I'm getting a heck of a workout already this week on Sweatstream TV. All the other workouts, Monday through Thursday, you got Friday, you got me. Get all this good body weight, yoga, core work, calisthenics, core training, Pilates. Inhale again, bring them up. Exhale. Come down. Let's do it two more times. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Exhale down. Squeeze every drop of breath from the lungs. And one more time. Inhale. And bring those hands back down. Okay, a little twist side to side. Keep it nice and loose. Always love to do a warm-up. Ooh, okay, side to side. Sometimes we have to do some fancy editing here, but we want to keep the workout flowing and moving. Just a little twist here. Take it four more times. One, two, three and four bring those arms up lace the fingers a little circle pick a direction get that core warmed up core is your abdominals your lower back your hips and your glutes the center of your strength joseph pilates called it your powerhouse inhale back exhale forward all right other direction there we go i just returned from a trip to florida coming back in the mountains got a little allergy so i was looking forward to this workout because the deep breathing the movement definitely clears me up do it two more times. Circle and circle. Cactus arms. Pull the arms down. Open the chest. Sink those elbows back. And let the arms fall. Let's come to forearm plank. Fantastic warm-up pose as well. Elbows are on the shoulders. Draw the shoulders back. Let's take 10 deep breaths in our forearm plank. Every time you exhale, give those abdominals a squeeze. Give them a flex. Come on, do it. Press the heels back, elbows in, shoulders back. I like to do a little pelvic tilt as I breathe in. I call it a um, plank crunch. There's that neat little bug again. Five more breaths. As Addie decides what her next move is, it's kind of like a chess game. Good. Three more breaths. Then we're going to some vinyasa power flows. Do these workouts anywhere, anytime. Fit your own schedule. 
Okay, quick child's pose. Press back, stretch out the arms. Shoulders back, fingers forward. All right, let's pop up into downward facing dog. Open the fingers wide, feet hip width, arms shoulder width. As we piece together some vinyasa power flows. Anytime you want to modify, bring the knees down. Uh, and that's all I got to say about that. As you exhale, press into those arms. You want to lengthen the arms and relax the shoulders. Work the heels down towards the mat. So inhale, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, sink down into the heels. Let's do that two more times. Fantastic stretch for your spine, your paraspinals, your hamstrings, and all parts in between. Now inhale forward to plank position. Hands are on the shoulders. Got the water bottle on the mat because it's rather windy out today. Windy, 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 windy. Elbows in, shoulders back, press the heels back. Now, let's go into hover. We're going to press forward through the toes. The shoulders come in front of the wrist, elbows in. Slowly lower down if you want. You can bring the knees down. If not, we slowly come down to the mat. And then cobra. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Squeeze the glutes. Lengthen the legs back. Press the tops of your toes. Bam! Into the mat. And then exhale. Downward facing dog. And that, my friends, is vinyasa flow. Vinyasa power flow. Let's put it together. Bippity boppity boo. Inhale forward. Plank. Hover. Slowly. And then cobra. Or if you get your dander up, press all the way up into upward facing dog. Knees can stay down or lift the legs up. But really roll the shoulders back and down. Open your chest. Squeeze the glutes and the tops of your thighs and enjoy. Two more breaths. Inhale, lift a little higher. Elbows in. The dog is laying in wait. <laughs> and then downward facing dog. Now let's bring a lunge into this. We're getting nuts. Take your left foot. Bring it forward with the exhale. Now you want to line up your knee and your ankle. Stretch your back leg. And then inhale. Take the arms up and sink down. So, your shoulders are back and down, cap is on, very important, and as you inhale, reach back, as you exhale, sink into the legs and really stretch that back leg, press the right heel towards the mat, two more breaths, big, well, big balance pose, work your legs, your hip flexor, and your core, alright, nice, exhale, hinge forward, set the hands down, downward facing dog, and then take your right foot forward, lunge. There we are. Lunge. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Now, as always, a big battle, some of my clients have in my live classes a lot, is the shoulders. Like we reach up and we want to go like this. But the key is to reach up and actually relax the shoulders. Not here, but uh, sound effects optional. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, sink down. Two more breaths. <sighs> Powerful lunges. There are many different variations of lunges as well. A whole menu. All right, hinge forward. Let's step back to plank. And then go into hover. Come all the way down. Let's take this water bottle over here. We'll see what happens. The breaststroke. Classic Pilates move. Arms to the sides. Legs together. As you inhale, reach forward. Open the legs. Exhale, pull back. Big circle. Let's do 10 times starting now. Here we go. Eyes to the mat. One. Two. Good. I think it's good. You sound good. Here comes four. Und fünf. There's five. Five more times. Breast stroke, just like swimming. All body weight. I'll let you know right now, if you watch my other videos, I'm terrible at counting. I mean, I can count from 1 to 10, but sometimes I add more. Let's do one more time. But that's extra credit. Good. Pull it back. Now, hands under the shoulders. Press up and back. Downward facing dog. Let's do the walking down dog. Love this. Walk the legs. <sighs> Big stretch. <sighs> Lengthen the arms. I mean, I'm just keep walking. Let me tuck in the shirt. There we go. Ah, the wind. Good. Add a little twist if you like. I love doing this 
walking down dog in my workouts when I go to the gym. I'm always cross training, all sorts of different stuff. It's fun to drop down into this and keep your spine and your legs nice and limber. Let's do four more times. One, two, three, and four. All right, let the knees come down. We're gonna come down onto our backs for the Pilates 100. <laughs> All right, let's come down onto our back. Every movement you make has a purpose. Everything is precise, it's concentrated. Let's turn that down a little bit there. In Pilates, in yoga, in life, in fitness, you're in control. It's smooth, Addie's barking. Let's come down for the Pilates 100. Make sure your lower back is down, take the feet together, knees together. Arms to the sides, you can also take the legs out, heels together, toes apart. That's called Pilates stance, zipping up the legs. You're going to pump the arms up and down, breathe in for five counts, and then exhale for five, 100 times. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last set, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, bring the knees in for just a moment as we prepare for the roll up. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, a little rocking side to side. <sighs> All right, come on up, seated position. We'll start, start with the spine stretch, working our way in. Always working our way in, take the arms out. Ah, draw the toes towards you. Exhale, hinge up and over the toes. Squeeze out the breath. Inhale up, exhale, come halfway back. C curve in the spine, rounding the back. And then we lift and we stretch. Good, half rollbacks. Exhale down a little further, a little further, and up, and stretch. Stay here or go into the full roll-up. So you're going to keep going down. One vertebrae at a time. Massage the back into the mat. Inhale, lift, pause to eradicate momentum. And then exhale, peel off the mat, and stretch, okay? Let's do six more of either one of those. Smooth, massage the spine. Efficient, efficient movement. I'm going to be, I will, what am I saying? I will be 42 years old in a few months. So you betcha these are the exercises I am focusing on. The core strength and the flexibility training. Keep my body limber. Keep it flexible. Keep it strong. So I can roll out of bed every morning. Energy. Vitality. Vitalis also for the hair. All right, take it three more times. Keep that spine loose, not compressed. Keep your body balanced, give it what it needs. Whatever sport or activity you do will be enhanced by these exercises. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, we had to put Addy inside. So now we can really get cruising. Let's do one more roll up here. We're gonna slowly come down. Efficiency of movement, my friend. Draw the toes towards you, take a pause here. Take out momentum, take out jerkiness. Don't be a jerk, all right. Inhale, bring it up. We're gonna come down, to, or I'm sorry, bridge to single straight leg stretch. So come to half boat here. Oh. I'm sorry, boat to single straight leg stretch. I get boat and bridge mixed up, must be uh, the B. All right, bring the feet together, knees together. This, my friends, is called half boat. Shoulders are down every time you exhale, give yourself Give your abs a nice squeeze. Classic yoga pose. Shoulders back and down. You can also take the legs all the way out if you like. Shaking may occur. Whole lot of shaking going on. All right, from here, we're gonna come down. Single straight leg stretch. You're gonna do four of them. Take your right leg up, left leg out. Grab as high as you can. Exhale, draw the leg towards you. Inhale, switch. Big stretch, stabilize your core. Keep your lower back imprinted into the mat. Now. Rise back up into half boat or full boat. I'm going to stay in half boat. <sighs> Don't ask me why. I'm just going to stay here. Two more breaths. <sighs> shoulders down. Work on your posture. Shoulders away from the ears. Shoulders are back and down. 
All right, again, bring it down. Single straight leg stretch four times. Lengthen this leg away too. Inhale, exhale two more times. Stretch the backs of the legs. You got to keep that body limber. It won't limber up on itself. You know, while you sleep, your body doesn't just, you know, like little elves stretch itself. You got to get down and do the stretches. They're so important. Keep your body lengthened, elastic. One more time. It'd be cool if elves did do that, though. All right. Four more times. And once more. Let's do this one more time, this sequence here. Fantastic way how yoga, power yoga, and Pilates can live so beautifully together. They enhance each other so much. The core strength from Pilates gives your poses in yoga so much more stability. And the flexibility training and the breath and the focus in yoga enhances all those Pilates moves. All right, four more times. One, two, nose towards the knee. Three, and four. Fantastic. Take the tips of the toes down, drop the legs side to side, the windshield wipers. Always time for a twist. You want to keep that lower back limber. Great to do in the morning and at night before you go to bed. If you share the bed with somebody, be careful not to kick them. Keep it controlled. Racking and rolling. Okay. Let us come back to downward facing dog. Come on up. All right, lengthen those, those arms. Just walk the legs 10 times here. Two, three. And on this channel, on Sweatstream TV, every Friday I'm going to bring you something a little different. I'll definitely add a lot more in. There are so many options we can do with body weight exercises, calisthenics, yoga, Pilates, core training, all that good stuff. <sighs> like a kid in a candy store. <sighs> all right, one more time, each leg. <sighs> all right, inhale forward, plank position. Let's press forward, hover, bring it all the way down, and we're gonna do swimming. Arms out, shoulder width, legs hip width, inhale, lift, opposite arm, opposite leg, exhale, lower. Lift and lower. Breathe in, exhale, eyes are on the mat, top of the head reaches forward. Feel that lengthen as you lower down. You could stay here going slow or chop the arms and chop the legs. Breathe in for five, out for five. Here we go, keep going. Five more breaths. Three more. Two. And one. Reach it out, reach it out, and... Oh, fantastic, reward yourself. Little child's pose, press it back, sway side to side. Great stretch for your back, your shoulders, your arms. You can bring the knees out wider to hit the hips a little more. I was moving my hips side to side. Okay, bring it up, chair pose. Feet hip width apart. We're gonna take the fingers, touch them down. This is very dramatic here. And then inhale, lift up, chair. Arms a little more than shoulder width. Pressing back in the glutes, the toes are loose. We're gonna do a little back and forth here with chair to forward fold, then adding in the mudra. I'm excited, are you excited? I can't stand it. All right, forward fold, dive down. Keep the knees soft, put the weight in the toes. Exhale, sink down a little more. You wanna come out here, not back here. You'll crush your breath. Come out here, definitely a lot more open. Inhale, chair. Three breaths. Work the glutes, the legs, work the presence of the pose and dive down forward fold if you if you're more flexible you can bring the fingers under the toes or wrap the arms around the backs of the legs ah. again chair a little add-on if you want to add balance tippy toes three breaths And now, mudra, lace the fingers, bring the arms back. Inhale, lift up, exhale, draw towards the back of the head. Again, keep those knees soft. Open the chest, stretch the shoulders. 
And one more time, each one. Chair. You may do tippy toes again if you like. Whoop! There we go. Tippy toe hop. <laughs> oh, and once more, mudra. Oh, I had a phenomenal workout yesterday at the gym. A lot of pull ups. I have a pull up fetish. A lot of different kinds. So these stretches are like a godsend to open up those lat muscles. One more breath. Draw it down, draw it down. Okay, now slowly rise up. Woo. Shoulders back, give yourself two more shoulder rolls here. And one more lift and lower. Let's do a little vinyasa flow, keep it going. I want you to come down and go back into plank position. Press forward, lower down, up dog or cobra. Start piecing all this together. Keep it flowing, transitions, breath, come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward. Warrior one, pivot your right foot out. Line up the uh, heels and lift. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Warrior one, it's like the lunge, but this back foot is down with socks on, it slides a little bit, but it's a little too cold to go barefoot. Stretch out that back leg. Good, now open up into warrior two. Arms out to the sides, there we are. Look off your middle finger of your left hand. Shoulders back, keep this hip open. Left hand up, reach up and back. Reverse warrior. Hmm. Big stretch, one more breath. Now, the fun part, we're gonna pinwheel the arms. I used to watch pinwheel in the 80s. Come down, step or jump back to plank into hover you can bounce a little bit keep it smooth and then there's our up dog or cobra very nice downward facing dog inhale right leg forward warrior one there we are let's uh get that shirt there ah, your right shoulder bring it back that's like the nucleus of the pose it wants to snap forward like a rubber band pull it back Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink down. All right, open up. Two. Shoulders are back. Lengthen the left leg. Right hand up. Reach and extend. Reverse. Nice. Love this sequence. All right, ready for the pinwheel? Here we go. Inhale, arms up. Come down into hover. You could kick the leg back if you like. And then up dog. Oh, so nice. Let's twist it out from either one. Side to side. Love the twist. You can bring a leg over the other if you like. Feel that stretch. Perhaps a little adjustment in the spine. Ah, okay, downward facing dog. Hold it here, five deep breaths. Lengthen the spine, upper body towards the legs. Ah, heels towards the floor. Two more breaths. Breathing into the wind. All right, bring the knees down. And let's come down onto our backs for the classic big five Pilates ab exercises. Yeah. Okay, walk the knees forward. Cross the ankles. As I said, everything's a transition. Transitions are something equally as important as the quote exercises. So we want to keep it smooth. Round down, nice and slow. Bring your right knee in, left leg out. This is Joseph Pilates. Of course, he's the creator of Pilates. Originally called Controlology. Controlology. Little fact: I lived in Munchen Gladbach, Germany, for a while. That's where he's from. Bring the right knee in, left leg out. <sighs> when I lived there, I had no idea what Pilates was. Inhale, switch the legs, exhale, lengthen. This is called single leg stretch. These are the big five classic Pilates ab exercises. I'm going to add a few little nuances to them. Keep your lower back imprinted, fingers to the back of the head if you like. Let's do ten more. Here we go. Balance. Add a little crunch if you like, a little chest lift. In the nose, out the mouth. That's classic Pilates breathing, but I don't want to get you all confused with the breath right now. If you are focused on the breath, wherever it's going in, wherever it's going out, that's good. You'll only get better as you practice it. 
Anyways, my voice cracks. One more time, each leg. Now we're going to go into one that you know. Single straight leg stretch. Let's add an extra pulse here. So we exhale, exhale. Second one, really lengthen. Inhale, switch. Okay, side to side. Feel that nose going towards the knee. Let's do 10 more. Here we go. Keep those elbows out to the sides. Good. Three, four, five, six. We got it. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, bring the head down for a moment. That neck gets tired, my friend. Don't be afraid to bring it down. You don't want to have a stiff neck. You want to keep it loose. <laughs> Tabletop position with the legs, feet together, knees together, arms to the sides. It's called double leg stretch. We're going to do ten. As you inhale, reach out. Exhale, circle the arms around, bring it back in. Kind of like the breaststroke, but we're on our back. Here's two. <sighs> Try to freeze the upper body. It does not move. Your lower back is glued to the mat. Four. Ah, five. Let's do five more. The lower the legs come, the more challenging. Six. Seven. Very precise. Flowing. Concentrating. Two more times. And bring it in. Now extend out. Hold. Five breaths. Squeeze those abs on the exhales. Two more breaths. Who's with me? Who's coming with me? And... All right, bring the knees in for just a moment. We have two left. I'm going to do a little um, modification somewhat of double straight leg stretch. For bring the legs up here. We're going to do alternating leg drops. <sighs> Keep your lower back down. Bend the knees to modify. Hands can be under the hips or fingers to the back of the head. Now, inhale, lower just your right leg. This leg's going to extend a little bit more. Exhale, come back in. Inhale, lower, alternating. Exhale in. Now, if you want one more add-on here, it's called a chest lift. Sometimes it's called a crunch, but you're lifting your chest up as the leg comes in. Okay? Now you're going to love me for this. Let's do 20. Are you ready? <clears throat> and let us begin. Here we go. One. Two. Three. You can even take the arms back if you like. Four. What a treat that is. Five. All these little nuggets. These little candy nuggets thrown in here. But you will get stronger so quickly that you'll be looking for a little bit more all the time. Your body will be so hungry for it. Ten more times. And we got 13. And 14. X. 15. Five more. 16. 17. 18. Don't fail me now. Come on. One more. No matter what. And 20. Okay. Finish with the crisscross. Bring your right knee in. Left leg out. Wiggity, 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 whack. Fingers to the back of the head. Lift the chest. Inhale, switch. Exhale. Now, rule, the first rule of crisscross, do not bring your elbow across. I have clients, even after I've said it so many times, they still do it. What it does, it torques your neck. It takes it out of here, puts it in here. Lift your chest side to side. It's so much more intense. Okay, 20 times. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, nine. 10, 10 more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, my friend, you have successfully graduated the Pilates Big Five, bring the tips of the toes down, let's celebrate with a twist, extend the top leg out if you like, there we are, I think about when I'm doing a lot of this stuff, in college, uh, Big fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Almost met him in Daytona Beach when I was working down there in theater, at Seaside Music Theater. Um, I just missed him a bunch of times with this blockbuster. But he was, Van Damme back in the day, he was very muscular, very big, but very, very flexible. So, I like that. I don't want to be, you know, muscular, but not be able to move. You want to be limber. <sighs> I can't do the jump splits, but we'll work on that. Okay, let's finish off with a little yoga flow here. Come back to downward facing dog. Okay, get your bearings. Finish with some flows here. Let's kind of do a little review and I'm going to add in the wrap, the WRAP, one of my favorites. Bring that left leg up, forward, lunge. So we reach up. Remember this one, back. Both the feet are pointed forward, shoulders are back and down. 
Exhale, come down, step back, down dog. Inhale, right foot up, right leg forward, lunge. Everybody, get the legs first, get the foundation, and then up. Whew. Don't let that wind affect you. Fight the wind. All right, again, step back, down dog. Left leg up, lunge, smooth. Remember those transitions, keep them, keep them tight, keep them controlled. Exhale down, down dog, right foot forward, lunge. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go into that vinyasa flow. Put the hands down, step back, add the little hop if you like, and then up dog, cobra, squeeze the glutes, downward facing dog. Left leg up, warrior one. Pivot the foot out, reach up. A little faster this time. Inhale up one, open two, flip, reverse. All right, bring it down. Nice. Down dog, left leg up. I'm sorry, right foot up. I'm so sorry. And pivot out. We have warrior one. Good. Two, reach. Three. I'm sorry, reverse. Ah, pinwheel. Let's go through the vinyasa flow. Kick the leg up if you like. Slowly come down. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Now, as promised, the wrap. Take your left leg up. Bring it forward. Warrior. Let's work into this. Get warrior legs first. Take your left hand down. Right arm up can also bring the arm to your lower back, thereby activating that twist a little more. If you want the wrap, left arm underneath, bring the hands together and open. I like to go back and forth. I like to do a little lengthening here and bend. Do these at the gym a lot. There we go. Somebody told me, like I like to do those at the gym, but people will watch. And I said, let them. Show them, teach them these things. This is amazing what these poses do for your body, for your overall performance. Two more breaths. Good. It's your gym. It's your 24-7 gym, your body. All right, take the hands down. Step back. Down dog. Right foot forward. Now we'll see the back view of our wrap. Let's go to Proud Warrior first. Here. Arm to the lower back. Open. Crack it open with the exhales. And if you want to go further, the wrap is yours. Here we go. Exit. Go back and forth if you like. I actually call it triangle wrap. We'll add a triangle into one of the next videos. There's so many things. Oh, there's so many fun things we're going to do together. As always. You don't forget to subscribe to Sweatstream, this channel. Like the video, share it with everybody. Two more breaths. Open it up. Woo! All right, let's go through our beloved flow. Step back, kick up if you like. And then up dog, twist it out, side to side. I have no idea how long this video is now. I apologize for the stops and starts, but hopefully with fancy editing, no one will even know. I blame the dog. <laughs> All right, take it back. Child's pose. Knees to the outside edges of the mat. <sighs> Stretch it out a little side to side. Breathe into your back. Into your spine. Into your hips, your glutes. Walk the fingers forward a little more. Draw the shoulders back. Healthy spine, healthy body. Keep it limber. Stay away from the compression. Sitting and standing cause a lot of compression in the spine. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to finish this with the dolphin. Oh, everyone loves dolphins. The sea creatures. Unless you saw that Simpsons Halloween episode where they take over the world. Dolphin pose. It's down dog but with your forearms down big for your shoulders, for your arms, for your legs, but talk is cheap. Bring the palms flat, forearms down, tuck the toes, bring them forward a little bit, and press the upper body towards the legs. Modify with your knees down. Ten deep breaths. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, 
Sink those heels down with the exhales. You got it, my friend. Dolphin pose. Five more breaths. Really feel that in your back, in your arms, and your shoulders, too. I'm going to add an extra breath, extra credit, two more breaths. Five points to Gryffindor. Last one. Oh, and now the yang to that yin. Come to your knees. Lace the fingers together behind you. You can sit back if you like. Love doing this one. Little crouching mudra. Drop. There go the notes. We can smell. Oh, uh, uh. Someone's going to get those and sell them at the Smithsonian for the Smithsonian. All right, shoulders back. This is a time in the workout when I start to mumble because <laughs> I'm a little stuffy, it's a little cold, and I feel really good. Sink those shoulders down. Bring the palms together if you can. Good. You can also sit cross-legged if you like. All right, two more breaths. Really open up the shoulders. You're going to feel a little sore if you've never done mudra before. You will feel some stiffness, a little soreness, but that's good. Really working those areas, opening them up. It's a very profound stretch. Okay, shake it out. Whew. And let's come to a seated cross-legged position. All right, pebbles on the mat. Come on down, cross-legged position. Ah. Let's take those arms up over the head. Side bend to the right. I always like to finish... A little extra stretching. Inhale up, exhale other side. Let's do it one more time each direction. Exhale. Alright, bring those arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Bend the elbows, pull the arms back, open the chest. Big right here. Avoid that. The shoulders rolling forward, crushing your breath, crushing your very existence. Inhale up, back bend. Once again, cactus arms. Pull them back. Good. Good. Give your breath all that room to flow in and out. The more oxygen you bring in, the more energy, the more endurance, the more focus. Arms up. Palms together. Bring them down. Right in front of the chest. Two more times. Let's inhale up. Exhale. And one more time ought to do it. That ought to do it. And exhale. Oh, and fantastic workout, my friends. My first workout for the exciting new blockbuster YouTube channel, Sweatstream TV. Thank you for joining me and Millionaire Cat, Jake, and Shelly for a very exciting premiere week. I will see you every Friday. As always, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my channel. Type in my name, Sean V in the search engine on YouTube and head over to my website, SeanVFitness.com, or my best-selling books, my app, my online training program, etc. And we'll keep you in the loop. It's a pleasure, my friends. I will see you very soon. Keep checking back to this channel. God bless. Yeah. This appears to be a problem here. Kind of hard to get on the mat. Got to figure out a way.